Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to build a decision tree using CHAID algorithm with the help of simple solved example. In the previous videos, I have discussed how to build a decision tree using ID3, C4.5, Fuzzy C means and CART algorithms. Link for those videos is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a data set with 14 examples and 4 attributes. Play tennis is a target variable in this case. Given this data set, we need to apply CHAID that is Chi-Square Automatic Interaction Detection Algorithm to build the decision tree. So whenever we want to build a decision tree, first we need to identify one attribute which is having the maximum importance. So in this case, we have been given four uh, attributes. So we need to identify an attribute which is having maximum importance. We need to consider that as a root attribute and then we need to start building the tree here. Now the question comes in front of us is, how to identify an attribute which is having maximum importance. In this uh, case, I am going to calculate the chi-square value for each and every attribute. The attribute which is having the maximum chi-square value that will be considered as the important attribute. Now the question comes in front of us is, what is chi-square? Chi-square is a statistical measure used to find the difference between the child and parent nodes. To calculate chi-square, we use this equation. I square is always equal to square root of e minus o bracket square divided by e, where e is the expected number of occurrences of an example, o is the observed occurrences of an example. So, using this equation, we calculate the chi square value for each and every attribute here. Now, we will start with the first attribute from the given data set. The first attribute here is Outlook. Now, Outlook has three possibilities sunny, rain, and overcast. So, we need to calculate the chi-square value for all three possibilities here. So, to calculate the chi-square value, first we need to know how many number of observed examples are there and what is the expected examples. Now, what we need to do here is, uh, we need to consider outlook is equal to sunny and then we need to count how many number of yes examples are there and no examples in this case. Now, if you look at this outlook column, there are five places where sunny is present. So, these are the five places where sunny is present. Now, out of these uh, five examples, we need to see how many number of yes examples are there and how many no examples. So, if you look at here, this is the place where sunny is equal to yes and this is the place where sunny is equal to yes. Remaining three are no here. So, that's the reason uh, whenever sun outlook is equal to sunny, the number of yes examples are two and whenever outlook is equal to sunny, the number of uh, no examples are three here. This is what is known as the observed number of examples here. Similarly, we have to count how many number of yes and no examples are there whenever outlook is equal to overcast, whenever outlook is equal to rain here, that is what I have written in this table. Now, once you get this uh, observed uh, number of examples, next we need to calculate the expected number of examples here. To calculate expected number of examples, we need to add the yes and no values of uh, observed uh, examples and then we need to divide it by 2 here. 2 plus uh, 3 divided by 2, that is equal to 2.5 here. 4 plus 0 divided by 2 that is equal to 2, 3 plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 2.5 here. Now we have calculated the observed and expected uh, values. Now uh, I will discuss how to calculate the chi-square value for yes and no examples here. To calculate the chi-square we use this equation, chi-square of uh, outlook is equal to sunny given s. Yes. that is we want to calculate this one. To calculate this one the values are, the expected value is 2.5. And the observed value for S is what? 2 here. So, square root of 2.5 minus 2 bracket square divided by 2.5 here. So, that is equal to 0 0.316 in this case. So, that is what I have written here. Similarly, if you want to calculate the chi-square for no here, chi-square of outlook is equal to sunny given no is equal to, again expected is 2.5 and uh, the number of observed examples for no is uh, 3 here. That is 2.5 minus 3 bracket square divided by 2.5, which is equal to again 0 0.316 in this case. Similarly, we have to calculate the chi square value for remaining possibilities here. So, we will get all these uh, chi square values in this case. Now, once you calculate the chi square values, we need to add all these chi square values. Get the chi square value for that attribute. That is, chi square of outlook is equal to addition of all these things, which is equal to 4.092 in this case. So, this is the chi-square value for the feature outlook in this case. Now, we will go to the next attribute or the feature that is temperature. Again, it is having uh, three possibilities, hot, mild and cool in this case. Again, we need to count the number of uh, observed examples for temperature is equal to hot, given is, given no, for uh, mild and cool. 
So we got these values in this case. So once you get these values, we need to calculate the expected value. Expected value is the addition of these two things divided by 2. That is 2 plus 2 divided by 2 is 2 here. Similarly, I have calculated the remaining expected values here. So once you get expected and observed values, we need to calculate the chi-square value. So chi-square of temperature is equal to hot given S. That is this value I want to calculate. Again, I need to use square root of expected value minus observed value bracket square divided by expected value that is equal to 0 in this case. Similarly, I have to calculate the remaining values here. So once I calculate all the chi-square values, I need to add all those things so that I will calculate the chi-square of temperature is equal to 2.568 in this case. Now I will go with the next attribute that is humidity here. Humidity has two possibilities that is high and normal. Again, we need to count the observed values that is humidity is equal to high given yes and given no. We got three yes examples and four no examples here. Six yes and uh, one no example whenever humidity is equal to normal in this case. Again, we need to calculate the expected value that is addition of 3 plus 4 divided by 2 that is 3.5. 6 plus 1 divided by 2, again it is 3.5 here. Now we need to calculate the chi-square value, that is chi-square of humidity is equal to high, given S, yes, that is this value, which is equal to square root of 3.5 minus V, that is expected minus observed bracket square, divided by expected, that is 3.5, which is equal to 0.267, that is what I have written here. Similarly, I have to calculate the remaining chi-square values in this case. Now, once you calculate all the chi-square values, we need to add all those things so that you will calculate the chi-square of humidity is equal to 3.206 in this case. Now, we will consider the last attribute that is wind here. The wind has two possibilities that is uh, weak and strong in this case. Again, we need to count the observed values and then we need to calculate the expected values. Once you get the expected and the observed values, we need to calculate the chi-square values. That is chi-square of wind is equal to weak given S, yes, that is this one which is equal to square root of 3.5, that is expected value, minus 5, that is observed value, bracket square divided by expected value, that is equal to 0.801 in this case. Similarly, we have to calculate the remaining chi-square values here. So, once you get all chi-square values, we need to add all these things, so that we will get the chi-square of wind is equal to 1.602 in this case. Now, I have calculated the chi-square value for all the attributes or the features. Now, we need to compare these uh, chi-square values. Once you compare these uh, chi-square values, the chi-square of outlook is uh, 4.092, which is maximum compared to remaining attributes in this case. Because of that, outlook will be considered as the root node and then we will start building the tree here. Now, once I consider outlook as a root node, outlook has three possibilities in this case. That is sunny, overcast and rain here. So, I have created three branches in this case. Now, whenever outlook is equal to sunny, there are five examples are there here. That is D1, D2, D8, D9 and D11. In this case, outlook is equal to sunny here. Similarly, when outlook is equal to overcast, we have uh, D3, D7, D12 and D13 examples in this case. Whenever outlook is equal to rain, remaining examples that is D4, D5, D6, D10 and D14 examples are there. Now, if you look at these examples, uh, whenever outlook is equal to sunny, for these examples, some of the examples are having yes as the target and some of them as having no as the target here. So, we cannot write anything over here as a direct answer. But when outlook is equal to overcast, you can notice here, that is, this is the case. This is the first one. This is the second one, third one and fourth one. Everywhere, the S yes is the target in this case. So, that's the reason we will create a leaf node and then we will write S yes here. Whenever outlook is equal to rain, again we have some uh, yes and some no examples. So that's the reason we cannot write the leaf node or we cannot create a leaf node in this case. So what we need to do is uh, we need to consider these subset of data. Again, we need to start building the tree from here onwards. So first I will consider these five examples and then I will start building the left side tree. Once this is done, we will go with the right side tree over here. So I will consider these uh, five examples. But whenever I consider these five examples, I should not consider outlook here because outlook is already considered. We need to consider only these uh, three attributes here. We will get this subset of data here. Now for this subset of data, again, uh, there are three attributes are there. We need to calculate the attribute which is having maximum importance here. So for that reason, uh, again, we need to calculate the I square value. When we consider the first attribute that is uh, temperature here, temperature has three possibilities. 
for this uh, temperature we need to count the number of observed examples that is uh, whenever temperature is equal to hot how many yes examples are there and how many no examples are there similarly we have to do it for all possibilities we need to calculate the expected values once you get the expected and observed values we need to calculate the chi square values here so once you calculate the chi square values we need to add all these things you will get the chi square of temperature is equal to 3.414 in this case similarly we have to do it for humidity here Humidity has two possibilities that is high and normal. First, we need to get the observed values. We need to calculate the expected value and then we need to calculate the chi square value. Once you get the chi square value, we need to add all those uh, chi square values to get the chi square of humidity is equal to 4.45 here. The last attribute in this case is wind having two possibilities that is weak and strong. Again, we need to count the observed values and then we need to calculate the expected as well as the chi square values. Once you get the chi square values, we need to add all those chi square values to get the chi square value of wind here that is 0.816 in this case now we, we have calculated the chi square value for all three attributes we will compare the chi square values once you do the comparison the chi square of humidity is 4.45 which is more than the remaining two attributes here so that's the reason we will consider humidity as a root node for this subset of data and then we will start building the tree here so humidity is considered as a root node for this uh, subtree Humidity has uh, two possibilities here that is high and normal. Two branches were created here. Whenever it is high, D1, D2, D8 are examples and all three are having no as the answer here. So that's the reason we have created a leaf node and then we have written no here. Whenever humidity is equal to normal, we have two examples that is D9 and D11. Both of them are S yes here. That's the reason I have created a leaf node and then I have written S yes here. Now uh, we have done with the left subtree. We will go with the right subtree here. Again, right subtree has uh, five examples in this case. So, these uh, five examples uh, we will consider here. Again, we need to calculate the important node here. So, we will start with the temperature. Temperature has uh, three possibilities here. Again, we need to count the observed uh, examples and then we need to calculate the expected values. Once you get observed and expected, we need to calculate the chi square values. So, once you get the chi square values, we need to add all those things. We will get chi square of temperature is equal to 0.816 here. Now we will consider the next attribute that is humidity. Humidity has two possibilities that is high and normal. We will count the observed examples and then we will calculate the expected values as well as the chi squares. Once you calculate the chi squares, we will add all those things. We will get chi square of humidity is equal to 0.816 in this case. The last attribute is wind. For wind, two possibilities are there, weak and strong. The observed values are written here. Once you get the observed values, we need to calculate the expected value as well as the chi square values. Once you get this uh, chi square values, we need to add all those things. We will get the chi square of wind is equal to 4.45 here. Now we have calculated the chi square for all the attributes. We will compare the values here. The chi square value of wind is more compared to the remaining two attributes. Hence, wind is considered as a root node for this subtree here. I have considered wind as a root node for this subtree. Wind has two possibilities here that is weak and strong. So we have created two branches here. So whenever wind is equal to strong, there are two examples that is D6 and D14. Both of them are no here. That's the reason I have created a leaf node with no as the value here. And whenever wind is equal to weak, we have three examples that is D4, D5 and D10. All of them are having yes as the answer here. So that's the reason I have created again one more leaf node and I have written yes here. So this is the final tree because we got the leaf nodes for each of the branches of this uh, tree in this case. So this is the procedure we need to follow to build a decision tree using CHAID algorithm for the given data set. I hope the concept of a CHAID algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.